which technologies are high in demand right now? Are you seeing any changes in the marketplace? I think we have moved from um, the, a lot of the equipment, tools, software have become utility. Where we are moving is into analytics to a great degree. So the technologies that provide the, the information, the knowledge, is to me what's high in demand. I'll give you some examples. I know we were looking at and making some investments in, in security cameras. And we looked at analytics 10 years prior to installing cameras and 10 years after to see whether there was any reduction in crime because the, the hearsay and the street legend is that cameras reduce crime. It was only through the analytics that we realized that cameras do not reduce crime. They reduce car theft, but they do not reduce crime. So the important point here is that when we, as both public private sector, continue to invest on the wrong things because we just don't know, we have a gut feel, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, it is through analytics that for the first time we're going to realize that a lot of what we believe is incorrect. And that's, that's where we make a huge investment. So I think that's incredibly important. And that's an area, if I were to, to spend to invest, that's what I would invest, because most corporations have invested in streamlining internal processes. They're beginning to streamline the relationship with the consumer. Uh, many haven't, many are still behind, but they are. Other areas I think are nanotech, alternate fuels, um, semi-organic semiconductors, artificial intelligence. I mean, these are, even if you look at digital cash, and then you mentioned education, education School is the last physical space with a pen and a pencil that we have, and it needs huge transformation. Healthcare is transforming itself, but at what point, when I go back to the Rwanda ex example, at what point will technology replace man? Where, where is necessary, right? I mean, if you can't get enough doctors, can you get something else? I mean, we need to, at some point, stop and really look at the serious issues around us of hunger, poverty, disease. 18,000 children die every day from, from hunger. And, and we, we think, okay, where can technology help? That's, what, that's our tool, that's what we got. Disease, where can technology help? So I think there is, a, you know, and it goes back to the tremendous, tremendous power that it has to impact lives positively, and that's what we have to think about. <laughs>